And you're still watching Business Incorporated live on Channels Television. Now to our next uh, conversation. Consumer prices rose 6.57% from a year earlier, compared with a revised 6.55% in July, according to the uh, Kenya National Statistics, uh, Bureau of Statistics. Uh, the food and non-alcoholic drinks index, which comprised a third of the inflation basket, rose at 10.67% from a year ago, while housing water, electricity, gas, and other fuels index uh, with a weighting of 14.6% in the inflation basket uh, grew by 5.07%. Let's talk to Steve Ogutu now, a development expert in Nairobi, Kenya. Great to have you on the program. Oh, thank you very much, Larry. Excited to join you short this thank afternoon. Thank you. Yeah, so, so Kenya's inflation has ballooned to an 18-month high in August. Uh, what do you think drove this? Right. Um, you know, um, part of the major drivers of this inflation has been largely because of, you know, um, the level of um, investment on capital projects. Uh, right now, the government is focusing, and even before COVID, the government was really focusing on a very massive um, infrastructural <coughs> expansion in the country. We have massive roads that are taking shape here. And so, and you know that most of these projects are actually funded through, um, through loans. And, and, and so what it means is uh, citizens have to be taxed more in order to, um, to repay back some of these um, loans and stuff like that. And um, also COVID again came in, came in and this again um, affected, you know, so many aspects of our economy. The supply chain uh, were severely affected. And what this meant is commodities such as uh, food, um, electricity, fuel, you know, had to really skyrocket in terms of prices. And this definitely had an impact um, in our economy as a country. And I'm sure this is the case across other countries um, um, in Africa. All right, and uh, the inflation rate still remains within the central bank's target range of about 2.5% to 7.5%. Uh, what do you think would be the policy direction at the next meeting? Right, what I think the government uh, need to do is basically focusing on relooking its fiscal policy. Um, there's need to reduce expenditure on capital projects um, and also uh focus on you know uh, increasing taxation on you know certain uh, commodities such as fuel electricity and foodstuff and also uh think about innovative ways of uh taxation um i think those are very uh key uh, areas that the government uh, could be considering um in the coming few few months yeah and Kenya is heading to an election next year. Uh, what do you, what's your outlook for uh, the economy going forward? Right. You know, as is the case, normally um, about two years, two elections, and two years after elections, um, uh, Kenya, we normally uh, experience um, a lot of heat to the economy because then uh, most investors uh, are afraid to invest because of the, the high political tension that comes with the election and, and things like that. And so we expect that the economy is going to experience some recession uh, and then peak uh, maybe around 2024, thereabout. So um, we are really expecting that um, in the coming uh, few months. Um, the, stock, the, the stock market, of course, is also uh, going to experience some shakeup. And so uh, we're just getting ourselves ready for these uh, tough times that are ahead of us. All right, I can imagine. All right, uh, uh, Steve Ogutu, a development expert in Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you so much for your time on the program. Thank you very much, Larry, for having me. And have a good Thank you. afternoon. You Bye -bye. too. All right.